Hey guys, it's Anne behind her apron. I know it's been a while. We've had kind of a upheaval around here. Um, so I haven't been on live as awesome. I'll try to get back to doing that because it's always fun to see my followers and see what's going on in your kitchen. But we're only a couple weeks away from Christmas. So if you're like me, you're maybe doing some goodies and I just wanted to show you a hack that my friend Andy showed me. Um, I've shown you before, but there's so much love for the rock crack base. You know, normally I'm cooking something in one of the rock cracks, which is that product. But today I'm only using the base and I wanted to tell you a couple things. We have a new base coming out in January that will be available to customers and it will fit the two different sizes of the rock cracks. And it has some nice new features like um, one, this won't get hot around the top. Okay, so that's a huge thing. So if you've been kind of eyeing the rock cracks, because remember they go out on your uh, grill, they go in your stove, they go on top of the stove, um, in the oven, microwave, and then of course in one of these bases. But today I'm just doing a holiday favorite and I have peanut butter balls that I've already made and I'm just dipping them in chocolate. And I don't know about you, but the chocolate dipping is always kind of a pain and this is a great way to have your melted chocolate stay warm so you're not having to re-melt re it or re-microwave it. So what I do is I actually do pre-melt the chocolate in these containers. So I'm using a, a three cup, sorry, there's a little construction happening. Three cup prep bowl is one option or you guys just a standard coffee cup is another option and I am um, doing two different kinds of chocolate today. I have the Giardelli dark chocolate discs that are those melting discs. That's what's in the coffee mug. And then I just used standard chocolate almond bark in the other to uh, give different flavors for the people who like a darker chocolate on their uh, peanut butter ball. But I just thought that this is a hack that you guys might enjoy, knowing that setting the base on the warm setting will keep your almond bark, your chocolates, just at the perfect temperature to dip all of your holiday goodies. And this, this is the peanut butter recipe for the peanut butter balls that has just powdered sugar, creamy peanut butter. I guess you could use chunky, never thought of that. Um, Rice Krispies, a little bit of butter, and then some people melt and dip them in chocolate chips. Some people uh, do white chocolate, so it's really up to you, but I um, enjoy doing dark or milk chocolates. So happy holidays, and if I can help you uh, with anything, let me know. We have about eight days left before our holiday delivery, and there's so many fun um, things that you can do. Now, if you're doing the pretzel rods, you know the tall rods in here, yes, you can do it in a longer cup too, as long as your cup is heat safe. But it's just a fantastic tip, so thanks to my friend Angie. She uses it for cake balls all the time. All right, have a great day.